number six in the radiance range is Red Sun by Rudolf Tom from 1970. Now going into this one, again, I knew very little. This was one of the initial announcement titles. One that sounded interesting, but I wasn't sure how it was going to play. It's a kind of art house film where we follow our main character of Thomas, who uh, gets a ride to Munich. He's kind of bumming a ride, hitchhiking himself there. He feels a bit of a layabout character. One of these characters that I just, I couldn't attune myself to at the start. Wasn't really keen on him because he's just kind of floating through life aimlessly. He goes and sees Peggy who's working at a bar and as they catch up and reminisce, she invites him back to her house, her flat that she shares with three other people. And for the first 15 minutes, it's just kind of watching these people interact and it's very captivating. Although it feels sparse, it feels low budget, you're drawn into the kind of mood and atmosphere that it's beginning to set up. And right about the 12, 13 minute mark, it takes a turn as one of the characters who was dating one of the girls in the house is suddenly killed by these four girls. And there is an understanding that after five days of dating these girls or being with them, they will kill each man. They all have this sort of backstory of being um, manipulated, used, just have bad experiences with men. Never really outright said what they are. They just all know that they've had enough pretty much and before any feelings get brought into this they're happy to do what they need to do and then take out their frustrations in a violent manner. And you're just kind of watching this as Thomas sort of ingratiates himself in with these women as he starts to converse with them, talk to them, feel as though something's not quite right with the setup that's going on here. And as a viewer, you're drawn into when. When is this coming? Is Thomas going to realise? And as we see him and hear him talk through the various people, strange thing happens. I become really invested in Thomas as a character. I really liked him by the end. I liked and understood that he came from a bad situation. Wasn't the best of people, but is trying to almost rehabilitate himself while still kind of sticking to that layabout, uh, non-directional trope that he has. I, I want the best for him. I'm hoping that he's going to go on and do something great <laughs> if he can survive the five days with these lethal girls. There is a sense of black comedy that comes through this as well from, in the way some of the situations are, are played out. Um, never laugh out loud funny, but more kind of odd funny, quirky. It has a, a strange sensibility about it. The music is almost playful. The sparse uh, production standards lead me down the path of it, it was a, 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 a low budget film but it also suits the lifestyle of the girls who are, are here or people who populate this world. They aren't affluent. They are people with a, a purpose and they're building up to grander extremes, which comes into play later on in the film, which is expertly done. <laughs> For me, it's all about the main characters of Peggy and Thomas and this rekindling of a relationship um, and how the current world ideals affects that relationship throughout it, which was terrific. And, and like I said, by the end of it, I really liked Thomas. Um, he, he's a character that really grew on me and where the girls were all instantly likeable, they are slowly change and turn throughout it to some of them not being as as likeable as I first thought. I, I was truly surprised by Red Sun because I, I thought it had an interesting premise, but it didn't tackle the subject matter the way I thought it was going to, but did it in an almost better and unusual way. I really liked this one a lot. This was a huge surprise for me. Yet again, Radiance surprising me is becoming more and more familiar. Let's dive into the extras and see what this has to offer. So here we are in the disc for Red Sun. 
let's go into the special features. First off, we have a commentary by Rudolf Tom and Rainier Langs. Wrote Son, Between Pop Sensibility and Social Critique. Uh, this is 20 minutes and 39 seconds. It's a really interesting look at the film, talking about how it kind of uh, was part of the new wave of cinema, how the kind of superficiality of a lot of the film at the start of it as well. There's some interesting topics to be brought up here. From Oberhausen to the Fall of the Wall. Margaret Derias looks at the signing of the Oberhausen Manifesto in 1962, which paved the way for the emergence of new German cinema. The challenges for filmmakers and funding in the 1980s created exclusively for Radiance in November 2022. And this is 50 minutes, 49 minutes, 53 seconds. This is a phenomenal extra. Uh, really gives you a world of information paving through from post-war cinema onwards and it just gave me so many films I want to check out, so much information, so much really pertinent and uh, fantastic information at that as well. This was a stunning extra, one of the best that Radiance have had thus far. In addition to that, there is a 52-page booklet here. It's got the cast and crew. Guerrilla Girls, Radical Politics and Rudolf Tom's Red Sun by Sam Dagan, Interview with Rudolf Tom, Letters to the German Film Evaluation Office by Wim Wenders and Emil Patalis. We've got review extracts which are great and then the transfer notes. This is one of the biggest uh, booklets that Radiance have done as well. Do not overlook this release. And that's the extras for Red Sun. So there we have it, Red Sun, uh, yes, pick it up, but I thought it was really kind of fun. It feels experimental, it dips into a lot of thematics, has the black humour, has five great characters at the heart of this one that I really loved, especially when it becomes uh, more in sort of almost investigative later on uh, for Thomas. But yeah, another winner from me from Radiance, one that you absolutely should pick up and I hope you do. Let me know in the comment box below whether you loved it, hated it, fell somewhere in the middle, whether you've picked it up or are going to pick it up. I would love to know that as well. Up here are more content where you can check out more of my stuff. And in the description box below are links to the Patreon, membership program and manvfilm.com. Always in which you can support me. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.